Hi, this is Mark Downey with GoEngineer, and I'm here today to share some information with you about SOLIDWORKS X-Design. As you can see here, X-Design runs inside a standard Windows browser. We're going to start a new component design by clicking on New Component. We'll go ahead and take the name Physical Product 3 and the location, click OK. As you can see here, this is the graphic window. We've got the Design Manager on the left, and we have the Action Bar on the bottom with several tabs. We'll start a sketch by clicking on the YZ plane and click on the pop-up for a sketch. Use our tools we're familiar with to create, in this case, we'll create a quick rectangle. Then we'll go ahead and click on circle and we'll click on start a circle in the corner. We'll use one of the features of X-Design, which is an intelligent sketch suggestion. We click on that. It uses symmetry to go ahead and automatically create the other four circles in this case. We can use box select to go ahead and set the relations for these circles to be equal. We'll do the horizontal circles and we'll do an equal relation between the vertical circles. Go ahead and grab those real quick. And we'll go ahead and grab the bottom ones as well. Once we've got our relations set, we can go ahead and start dimensioning. With X-Design, you click on a sketch element and it automatically pops up with dimensions. We can key in the dimensions for the vertical edge horizontal edge. We can also use the dimension toolbar, dimension app in the uh, app bar to go ahead and, action bar rather, to go ahead and put the dimension in. We can dimension from the edge to the circle. One of the neat features of X-Design here is to be able to select one of the three dots to automatically change the reference location for the dimension. We'll set that to inch and a half. We'll do the same thing for the vertical location. Set that to the center to be inch and a half. Notice in the design manager that the sketch has got a minus sign indicating that it's underdefined. To fully define the sketch, we went ahead and uh, assign some symmetric relationships for the geometry by clicking the geometry in the design area. Create a couple of symmetric relationships here. And notice when we finish this last one that we will have a fully defined sketch indicated by the minus sign going away. Now switch over to the Feature tab. We'll pick on the Extrude feature. With X-Design, we get a shaded preview. We can uh, we see we got the sketch selected. Um, we can set our direction and our distance. We can also use the arrow with the shaded preview to set this out. We can click on the ruler and pick a dimension for how deep we want the Extrude to be. Go ahead and click OK for that. Using the View toolbar, we can switch to Isometric View and Zoom to Fit. One of the neat features of X-Design is the ability to modify the feature once it's been created. Using what's called the super feature, we can switch it from a, an extrude to a revolve in this case. Let's pick this bottom edge. We'll grab the arrow here to rotate this around. And let's try to see if we can set this to 270 degrees. We'll dial in here as we get closer. We can see that it snaps to that. We can set our angle to 270 degrees. Click OK, and we can see how easy it is to switch it from an extrude to a revolve using super features. Let's switch it back to a extrude by clicking on the extrude toolbar. Back to extrude, and we'll click OK. And that's a quick sample of what X-Design looks like. 